Welcome to the session. I am damn tensed. This is my first talk. So please uh, pardon me if I do something wrong. Thank you for that. After hearing all the deep insight, let's come to a very basic topic that is anatomy of a software patent. How does a patent look like? Okay, this is me. I am a mother to a 15 months old child who is sleeping over there, normally who doesn't sleep. <laughs> I am a blogger. I maintain my blog at anveshadas.in where I transform legalish to English and I am um, a lawyer by profession and uh, I, I was working with uh, mortgage and now I have shifted here so and I am a dancer. So disclaimer. This talk is not a legal advice. This is only to help you. The intention of the talk is to help you to read a patent document nicely. So when we hear, hear the word patent, the first thing comes into our mind or the first thing we need to understand is what an intellectual property is. As it is very much evident from the term itself, intellectual property is a property created by someone's intellect. Intellectual property can be of many types, patent, trademark, copyright, trade secret, etc. So today our discussion is about patent. So what is, uh, the, uh, what is the definition of a patent? Patent, uh, it's a, it is a kind of intellectual property which is granted by the sovereign for a specified period of time. Um, uh, uh, it's a monopoly uh, it's a monopoly right and it's granted to the inventor for his invention too many uh, legalish term over there decrypted inventor is a uh, like uh, patent is the uh, there are three points which need uh, which i need to be discussed over here first thing is that sovereign sovereign means the authority or the government then monopoly monopoly right is the exclusive right this is the exclusive right of the inventor Inventor is basically the owner. There, if there is not any arrangement contrary to it, and the second thing, the third thing is time bound. Time bound means it is uh, granted for a specified period of time. It is twenty years. Just the same gap between Titanic release and Leonardo getting Oscars. So, to to get a strong protection like patent, the invention has to be useful non-obvious and novel now why a patent why do I we need a patent so before uh, going into why do we need a patent let's dig into uh, the history of the patent a bit the word term patent has come from the word latest patent as opposed to the closed letters these were the let open letters under the great seal of king of england under these letters by and through these letters the king used to confer certain rights to its subjects so the concept of patent the uh, by a letter uh, we are conferring certain rights to somebody has come from there and the main uh, aim of patent is to create an equilibrium between a public good and a private good the public good part is that so that the public can use the invention for their own benefit and the society can enrich as a whole and the private good part is that so the uh, inventor gets uh, benefit uh, like gets the benefit of his own invention and uh, like uh, he can get incentivized then let's come to the patent document construction of the patent document so like every human being patent has a face and a body and a heart so uh, let's come to the face of the patent surely our <coughs> face does not look like this when we see a patent but um, patent document is uh, the face of the patent document is the front page of the patent document when we open a pdf file or we take out uh, take the patent uh, uh, certificate it is the front page uh, that is the uh, that is called the face of the patent document there is there are many various uh, things which is there in the face of the patent document the first thing is the patent number patent patent number is a unique 
identify like unique identifier it's a a uh, unique identifier granted by the USPTO uh, specific um, it's pertinent to mention here that i'm specifically talking about us patents here so it is a uh, grant it's this patent number is granted by USPTO that is the united states patent and trademark uh, at patent and trademark office and um, and it is the mark of approval of the patent application the and there are certain sp specific numbers in a pat uh, in specific numbers and or uh, some uh, uh, some some codes which uh, um, uh, in the patent number uh, which denotes certain spe specified or specialized kinds of patents these are called kind codes like if there is re in a patent number that is re-examine patent and if it there is pp in a patent number that then it is a plant patent if there is d in a patent number then it's design and uh, if there is t in a patent number then it's defensive patent and previous previously it was uh, 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 it was uh, the kind code was uh, managed under certain different act now it is uh, now it it has been managed by america invents act of 2011 the next thing that is there are the dates in the patent there are basically three types of dates in a patent document first is the application date or the filing date the date it has been up applied for the patent has been applied for or filed in the office the second date is the issue date when the that is written as the pa date of patent when it has been issued by the uh, authority or the USPTO and the other uh, there are another uh, there is another kind of date it is called the priority date priority date basically the application date is generally the priority date but there are certain certain circumstances when the application date and priority date are different when some document claims priority to the, uh, pr uh, priority to the application date itself then the date of that document has to be considered as priority date and the patent term is judged by or uh, or um, uh, calculated by, by uh, getting into knowledge of all these dates and it is the it is a generally the system over a uh, system in uh, system that uh, it is first to f uh, invent not first to file the next thing is the title of the patent <coughs> the title as it is uh, like any movie title like like kung fu panda when uh, i say kung fu and panda this kung fu and panda in the movie the title is the same it is short and specific explanation or definition of the patent what is there in the patent the next thing is the inventor who is the inventor inventor is the person who has conceived a working idea and actually or constructively has made the uh, or reduced the working idea into practice so decrypted conceived conceived means uh, the person who has the idea constructively means who actually by instructing someone has made the thing into practice and reduce the thing and reduce the, them into practice means making the working idea into a practice like any other like any other in T uh, tangible property patent though be uh, in uh, uh, being an intangible property can be like transfer it is a transferable property so if we look into a patent document we uh, will be fi um, like many of the patent document will find assignee this word so assignee means uh, to whom the pat uh, the patent holder has assigned his right or transferred his right by way of assignment or sale or some or or license or something the next thing that is important here to understand it what is prior art prior art is the knowledge 
or the invention that is already available that is called the prior art or the precedence so if my invention or somebody's invention falls into that area of prior art then it won't be get won't get patented so it's very uh, this prior art is very important and all these prior art and references and uh, references and arguments will get in on the face of the patent and as historical outline even the names of name of the examiner or the arguments everything is there on the uh, um, as the on the face of the patent as historical outline the next thing what we will find in a f on the face of the patent is abstract of the patent document abstract of abstract of a patent document is a single paragraph explaining the invention of the patent within uh, a 150 character 150 words so it's it's a basically a synopsis kind of thing the next thing which is there is the representative figure representative figure basically depicts the basic idea it is create it is given by the examiner the uh, by this representative figure the examiner gives the top level view of the product method and process of the invention um, um, in the on the face of the patent on the face of the patent itself the next thing that is there on the uh, uh, face of the patent is the body of the patent the body uh, the body of the patent May, it may not be as furry or soft, but it is as fat as Po from uh, uh, from the great panda kung fu panda movie. Like it is uh, full of all drawings and written descriptions and diagrams and everything. It is often the body often called a specification. It is uh, the specification uh, serves two uh, kind of uh, things basically. One is public good and the educate and the educational purpose and second the legal obligation that a patent must disclose the uh, his uh, its invention wholly or fully also sometimes to understand a vague claim which we will go later um, uh, we take the un uh, we take the recourse from the body itself what is the let's uh, discuss what is there in the body as i said there are drawing sheets and different diagrams each spe uh, each separately numbered and it is placed just beneath the face of the patent and there is written description the written description can be of three kinds first is technical second is uh, the summary of the invention and third is the description of the figures <coughs> what is technical the written description that is mentioned here the technical written description is basically mentioning the technical field of the and the technical field of the invention that is to which field of invention that the patent relates to actually it is it is very useful to get the right kind of examiner uh, for the patent to uh, to examine the patent the second thing is that the summary of invention the sub in the summary of invention all the advantages overview of the invention context previous endeavors on the same uh, field subsisting patent and techn technical terminology to understand the patent itself are mentioned and there are description of figures which describes the uh, uh, descri uh, which describes the figure uh, which is uh, being referred to in this point we need to mention one thing this is called embodiments this we get embodiments means the use cases we get the patent on the working idea itself not the use cases so we get the patent on the working idea not to the embodiments next thing is there is referencing a patent patent are written in a read row column system to make it easy uh, to refer it easily but it is not that easy to refer or to understand though uh, the next thing we are coming on the 
in a patent document are the claims. The claims, as I said, the patent has three parts. We covered face and body. <coughs> Paint, uh, claims are the heart or the core of a uh, or heart or core of the patent. Construction of a patent. Construction of a patent claim. This section, this section 112 of the ti of Title 35 of the United States Code, deals with the patent claim. Let's check what is there in a patent claim. The first thing that is there in the patent claim, that is the preamble. Preamble of the patent claim a patent, a patent claim denotes the type of the invention as described by the patent. It, it also defines any terminology which is important to understand the claim itself. It is very important to uh, get, uh, the, get the drafting of the claim uh, in a very uh, nicely or in a proper manner because the claim decides the boundary of the patent right, a patent right what, a, what is the right granted by that cla claim or the patent itself. Then uh, there there are certain phrases which is kind which is legalish or kind of vague, uh, which is there on on the claim of the patent. This is called transitional phrase. Transitional phrase are the phrases which relates the preamble and the uh, or which creates a relationship between the preamble and the invention as a whole or the inven inven or the any a part of the invention or part of the claim which is set forth in the uh, claim itself the this type this type of transition phrase um, that is open transition uh, broadens uh, broadens up broadens up the limits of the claim and closed transition does not like these are the examples of uh, uh, comprising the word comprising is a exam is an example of open transition and composed of is an example of closed transition limitation of the claim the limitation of the claim is described by the experts as are the core of the claim as the claim is the core of the patent limitations are the core of the claim Every though every inventor does not wish to limit his or her, uh, her invention, but it is very important to mention the limitations of the invention to make it or uh, uh, make the invention different from the state of the prior art, or to make the uh, to to write the differences between what is there already and what are the new things that is this invention is bringing on. So there are basically two types of claim. First is independent claim. The independent claim has to basically satisfy two conditions. First, they should have defer, should have to define a working invention and secondly, they should be unique. And the dependent claim as very much evident from the term itself is De uh, is dependent on the independent claim if the independent claim gets invalidated the dependent uh, the dependent claim automatically gets invalidated now by the uh, by now we have covered the fa the patent document but now i have we have a fa uh, we have a paper so what do we do with the paper what are the rights that a patent holder gets basically the patent holder gets three major rights that is to exploit the product or process to make it to uh, in, uh, pro hire it to do whatever he or she wants now uh, all of course within the boundaries of the legal requirements then to transfer it like any other tangible property as i said earlier and the third thing is that if someone infringes his right then it is the it is the patent holder has a right to sue which is very dear to some patent holders and which uh, they do not want to let it go then at the end of the talk 
uh, suddenly uh, uh, something comes in my mind then why, why i am giving a talk about a patent in a first conference nobody likes a patent i a patent here so why i am giving a talk <coughs> basically the first people believes that software is idea and ideas can be can't be patented they should be shared to en uh, to enrich the society as a whole but uh, it is better before rejecting something it is better to know and it is a very much prevalent <laughs> system in us now uh, which the like uh, which people now we have to read the patent document and patent is a very prevalent system in us so that's why i have given this talk therefore we have come to an end of this talk i hope you will now it will be easy f easier for you to read a patent document now so and it won't appear as a vague pdf to you thank you It's kind of, uh, yeah, it's kind of, uh, it is written that the, uh, if a new plant or a new plant has been like uh, discovered or there are some new plant has been created, like uh, through uh, this thing, this is called plant I guess.